Hey Popcorn Kid Crew, this is part two of 150 years of professional baseball. I'm gonna share this little story with you. It's called Luke Goes to Bat, and it's by Rachel Isadora. How many of you are baseball fans? I love baseball. I'm gonna share a special treat with you after I finish reading the story. Baseball is so much fun when we go out to the field. We're going to share a special story about Luke. You ready? It was Brooklyn. It was summer. It was baseball. All day long, the kids on Bedford Avenue played stickball in the streets. That's fun. Except for Luke. When you're older, his brother said, Nikki told him, he's just a squirt. One of the other kids said, laughing. Oh. We won't let him play because he's little. It's okay. So Luke watched the games from the curb and then he'd practice. He'd throw a ball against the wall next to the deli. He practiced his swing over and over again. He ran as fast as he could up and down the block. He wanted to be ready when it was time. Good job, Luke. It's preparing for when it is ready. That sounds like a good idea. At night, whenever the Dodgers were playing, Luke hurried up to the roof where he could see the lights of the Ebbets Field. When he heard the crowd go wild, he imagined his favorite player, Jackie Robinson, had hit a home run. Someday, Luke thought, I will hit a home run too. Finally, one morning, the team was short a player. Frankie had to go to his aunt's. Who are we going to get? Hey, said Luke. What about me? Everyone was quiet. Oh, come on, said his brother. Give him a chance. We got nobody else. He better not mess up. They put him in the left field. No balls came his way, so he just stood there. Oh, this going to be okay. When it was his turn up at bat, Luke took a few practice swings, then stepped up to the plate. I'll show them, he muttered. The ball whizzed past. Strike one. Luke held the bat higher. Strike two. Luke was barely in position when the next ball flew past and the catcher yelled, out. It's okay, that's all right. Even the professionals experience that, right? It's okay. You stink, Luke heard. He got up to bat one more time, but stuck it out again. Sometimes it just goes that way, his brother told him. Frankie came back in the afternoon, so Luke spent the rest of the day on the curb. He was sure they'd never let him play again. Oh, look who's sitting with him. It's okay. It's okay, Luke. Who else tell Luke it's going to be okay? Grandma was in the kitchen when he got home. I finally got a chance to play with the team, Luke told her. Grandma could tell that the game hadn't gone well. Not everyone plays like Jackie Robinson all the time, she said. Not even Jackie Robinson. Luke didn't smile. By the way, Grandma said, are you doing anything tomorrow night? 
Luke shrugged. Well, if you're so busy, someone else will have to go with me to the game at Ebbets Field. <gasps> what? You mean a real game? Grandma held up two tickets. <gasps> oh, Grandma. Look at there. Look at, she has two tickets. Look at that hug. I love hugs. Look at that hug. What a nice surprise. Ebbets Field was ablaze with lights, but this time Luke didn't have to imagine that he was at the game. Thanks for taking me, Grandma, he said. They watched the Dodgers and Phillies battle it out. The game went into extra innings. By the time the Dodgers got up to the bat in the bottom of the 14th inning, the score was still tied 8-8 eight to eight. with two outs. Jackie Robinson was up. The crowd roared. Come on, Jackie, Luke yelled. Come on, Jackie. That's Jackie Robinson right there. You all know about Jackie Robinson? That would be a great report to do. Oh my gosh, Jackie Robinson. I don't even know how many details you'll find out about Jackie. He was incredible. Incredible, Jackie. There's even a movie about Jackie Robinson. The pitcher threw a curveball and Jackie swung. Strike one, the umpire called. The pitcher wound up and he threw a fastball and Jackie missed. Strike two. Three balls followed. All eyes at Ebbets Field rested on Jackie. The Dodgers could still win. Look at there. Oh, my. That's a lot of pressure, guys. Oh, my goodness. Well, what do you think Luke and Grandma were doing in the crowd? Let's see. Luke shouted with the crowd, Give it to him, Jackie. You show him. Jackie looked around from under his cap then dug his feet into the dirt. The pitcher began his wind-up. You can do it, Jackie, Luke whispered. You can do it. I think Luke wants Jackie to get it. He said, give it to him. Just go get, look at that face. Give it to him. He's over here with Grandma. That's fun. That's fun. Suddenly, Luke heard the loud crack of the bat. When he looked up, the ball was flying over his head. Flying over the scoreboard, flying over the walls of Ebbets Field. The crowd went wild. Yes! Luke stood up on his seat and cheered. You showed him, Jackie. What a game, Grandma said. See, you can't give up. Even Jackie Robinson has got to keep on trying. Luke didn't answer. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. The crowd went wild. When Luke got home, he ran up to the roof. The lights were going out at Ebbets Field. Come on down, it's bedtime, Nikki called. Just then, Luke saw a ball lying on the ground. Look, he said, picking it up. This is the home run ball that Jackie Robinson hit tonight. Nah, that's just some old ball a kid hit up off the roof, Nick said, laughing as he went downstairs. Okay. I'm with Luke. I'm with Luke. That's a ball from the game, guys. And he found it. And that's when Luke saw him. It was Jackie Robinson himself. I hit that one for you, kid. 
Before Luke could say a word, Jackie ran to the dugout to join the other Dodgers. But he looked back one more time. Hey, kid, he said. Your grandma was right. You can't give up. Thanks, Mr. Robinson. The final lights went out at Ebbets Field. Luke looked down at the winning ball and smiled. I won't, he whispered to himself. He didn't. The end. Wow, to hear Jackie Robinson encourage you and say, don't give up, keep on trying. Luke believed in himself, his grandma believed in him, and the most important thing is, his dreams are gonna come true. Like many other baseball players, can you all see this? Someone who is very dear to me. His name is Fred Valentine, and he played for the Washington Senators, which are now known as the Nationals. Look, you guys, I saved this so you could see this. The Nationals. Where's my paper? I lost my paper. Look at this. Look. It's best. It's the best time to get tickets. It's the best time to get $10 tickets. This is Fred Valentine. He played for the Washington Senators, who is now the Washington Nationals. People love baseball. I want you all who love baseball to encourage little boys and little girls to play baseball. It's hard to play and it's different from a long time ago. But all you have to do is get out there and practice. Don't be discouraged if you hit outs. It's okay, everybody does, but you have to keep on practicing. I'm just proud to say, I'm proud of this man and I'm gonna let you know why one day. Hey, you guys, like I always do, give you a hug, and I'm sending you love, peace, and love.